So we start off this episode with King going in and showing why a lot of people love King. King was on some badass shit by himself, taking on Guilo, Gira, whatever you want to call her. Yeah, it's interchangeable at this point, but the episode just started off on some kick-ass shit, just him going in, and that's some awesome action, looking gorgeous as ever with the art and animation. Now, the beginning of this episode, the way they did the exposition and the explanation onto the backstory of who King is, his real name and things like that, I definitely felt that the director took some liberties, and it was kind of interesting with having Elaine explain it while he's fighting this awesome battle against Gira. and I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of fucking cool the way they did it. I liked it, it gave it a little more of a cinematic feel, and at the same time, just the battle looked epic as fuck and again it was this content right here i believe where people were like okay i love king personally i'm a bond dude but i fucks with king too he's pretty awesome and i mean at the end of the day he's the one that's fighting one-on-one -on -one with gira and putting in work although i do gotta say that this episode definitely felt fast-paced and it feels as though with this episode this is where it's really beginning to look like it's going really fast because we wrap up the fight with king and gira king knocks her the fuck out and she goes back into the world of living he basically kicked her ass back to life ain't that some shit normally he fucks someone up to kill them but he fucked her up to put her back to life what the fuck and then ultimately we get to set up with the tournament and a couple other things going on so it feels as though it's very fast paced being honest with you and it's kind of like i was thinking to myself wait a minute we're on episode nine and we're already going into the tournament stuff yeah this is going really quick all of a sudden what the fuck and if you think about it right now there's like what a good 10 11 volumes out in japan so we're breezing through this content when we still have what i believe there's gonna be 24 episodes in total we're not even halfway through and we're basically over halfway through the content that they have to animate so i'm hoping that this doesn't mean that at some point we might get filler because that would be very disappointing if we get filler like it looks like they could potentially go the route of magi the labyrinth the magic season one where they went really quick and then towards the end they kind of added some bs filler shit and then season two they went completely faithful to the adaptation and if that's the case that would be pretty disappointing I'm not gonna lie, I would be like, wow, you know, because it started off pretty freaking faithful, but I'm noticing that they're skipping out on little bits and pieces, like, we haven't seen, I believe it's King's Pet, we haven't seen that, and that's supposed to be inside the, you know, series, and there's a couple other things that they're skipping out on, so hopefully, again, it's just that they're going really quick, and they're gonna bring those elements back, because if you're skipping out on content, that means that it's still there, and you could potentially do it later on. We got a bit more of an introduction of some of the other Holy Knights, we see Hendrickson, Hauser, and then a few other ones as well, and... They kind of look, you know, typical badasses, to be honest with you. It's just very slow exposition and introduction to them. Not too much of a grand thing or anything like that. But you can definitely see that they command a certain amount of respect and power. And they're just talking about this fucking, you know, war and everything. And then it's interesting to find out that the reason why King was kicking ass and everything and the others weren't was because he has one of the treasures. He has his, but the rest of them don't. And then we get a little bit of jokes and laughter finding out that these treasures, which is the reason why King was beasting and everything because he has his, majority of them don't even have theirs. Like, I think it was Diane. Man lost it, Bonds was stolen, and Meliodas sold his. I'm like, wow, really? You're basically ace in the hole, and you're like, nah, dog, I gotta sell it. I need to pay them bills. Like, what the fuck? And I mean, if you think about it, we went from just hearing about that, like, oh, yeah, they're stolen, they're lost, and this and that, and then we immediately run right into one of them. So it kind of felt, again, very fast, and I don't remember in the manga if exactly, like, that was in the same chapter or a chapter or two after that, but it felt very fast-paced again. And then we have the setup for the tournament with Meliodas and Bond. I ain't gonna lie, I'm actually pretty hyped to see that because, I mean, come on, they're gonna be going fucking in and fighting and everything, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Overall, this episode, I say the first half was pretty fucking awesome, getting the conclusion to the Gira fight and King going in. Second half was a bit set up, a little bit of exposition, you know, getting introduced to some of the other holy knights and the villains of the series. But I would say, aside from the Gira stuff, the biggest thing we got was the little bit after the episode. I love how they do that. It always makes me want to watch the ending and then go straight away into that last piece of content, where we see that beast, that monster, that demon, which coincidentally looks identical to the demon from Bond's flashback is up there and they're cutting out blood to put inside of these cups and making them drink shit so you can definitely say that there's something shady about the Holy Knights like it's not just from Elizabeth's word of mouth only that you know they're fucked up there's more to it than meets the eye like these guys why would the fuck would they have a demon there and they're feeding blood to these people and letting people die because you see that dude just basically explodes so they're really fucked up people there's more <laughs> evilness to them than meets the eye and now we got a souped up Jericho with Gira still alive, ready to fucking kick ass, which I still gotta say, even though her against King, she kinda lost, 
I love me some Jira. And yeah, major setup with that, kind of introducing a little bit more into the demons and that. Seemingly, at the very least, the blood of the demons are still around. And overall, a good episode, very fast-paced, did skip out on some things from the manga, but I mean, for anime only, it's still pretty fucking good, and I'm just scared that they're gonna go too fast, and either they're gonna have to implement filler in the middle of it, maybe like some filler fights, which God, no! I mean, at the end of the day, if you watch the One Piece anime, there has been times where it's like, Oh my god, what is going on with this content? I do not want to have some shit with, like, Rebecca inside the tournament. And you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But just having a fucking tournament filler fight. I really hope that's not the case. I hope, if anything, if they are going to add filler, extend on the fights that we do care about. And please just don't go the Akama Got Kill route where after a certain point it goes its own way and has an anime only ending. That would be horrific. We could definitely, if they pace it right, eventually get a season two, which I would love. For hell, if they stop this fucking speed bullet train and go a little bit slower, we could eventually go ongoing. Although it seems as though ongoing anime is a dying breed, so that's probably unlikely. And yeah, I'd say anywhere from a 7.5 to an 8 for this episode. First half, very kick-ass, progressive. Second half, a lot of setup, introductions to some of these characters. It's just the fast pacing and some of these things that they're skipping out that has me a little bit concerned for the future of this one. Let me know what you thought of this episode, though. What do you think about King? Are you one of the people that like him more than Bond? Again, I'm a Bond dude, but I can respect if you like King as well, especially after you see shit like this episode. Also, what do you think about this tournament? You excited for that you can definitely see there's a little bit foreshadowing and some things to go on in case you ain't catch it i won't spoil it but yeah there's definitely some you know things afoot are you excited for this tournament though hey overall thoughts of the episode for manga readers i think for the most part you can still say that at the very least it's capturing most of the essence it's skipping out on small things and it is going fast but hopefully fingers crossed it'll fucking stay faithful for the most part to the content but that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoy the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm for the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day.